Hey, Victor family, welcome to the Wednesday Word of Brief Encouragement from Scripture. I hope that you had a wonderful Christmas and a great New Year. Of course, Barb and I had the wonderful privilege of getting to go to Israel on a trip with Dr. Don Wilton and a wonderful group of Christians. And so thank you for all your prayers. Uh, we missed you. We're glad to be back. And uh, so in coming back, I was uh, trying to catch up on some of my Bible reading from the Bible reading card that we give out in our church each uh, every quarter. And so uh, this morning I was reading in Luke chapter one because our New Testament reading in January begins in Luke. And we just finished Christmas, Christmas, and a lot of this is things that we talk about at Christmas, but something hit me that I wanted to talk with you about today. And that was in Luke chapter one, when the angel appeared to Mary. And he said um, to not be afraid in verse 30. And he says that you found favor with God. And then he says, behold, in verse 31, you'll conceive in your womb and bear a son and you shall call his name Jesus. Now, this is where I want to focus just for a moment is he tells her that she is to call his name Jesus, Yeshua. And then the next verse begins to describe who Jesus is. He will be great and will be called the son of the most high. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there will be no end. Now, friend, I just want you to think a little bit about what the angel told Mary. You and I have the privilege of knowing this Jesus, this same Jesus that the angel is talking to Mary about, whom she would conceive by the Holy Spirit, this same Jesus who is our Lord and Savior, this same Jesus says he will be great. Friends, if nothing else in your life, know that Jesus Christ is great that he is the son of the most high, that Jesus Christ indeed is the son of God. He is the son of man. He is the second person of the Trinity. That is why he is so great, that he is the king. And it says the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David. Jesus descended from the seat of David. He fulfilled all the prophecies that God gave about having someone sit on David's throne forever and ever. That's why we have the genealogies in the Gospels about where uh, Jesus came from. And then it says, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom, there will be no end. I just want you to recognize something there. The kingdom of Christ, the reign of Christ will never end. Right now, it's already, but not yet. As some theologians say, we know that Jesus is king. We know he's the king of kings. We know that he has conquered sin, death, and hell on the cross through his resurrection as well. We know that he's at the right hand of the Father and we're waiting for him to come back. And when he comes back, the completion of this will take place. So for right now, we know that he's reigning. We know that his kingdom has come. When Jesus began his ministry, he said, repent for the kingdom of God is near. So we are living in a kingdom age. But what I want you to understand is that when Christ comes back, it'll be eternal. It'll be forever and ever, and we will get to be with him. So I don't know what's going on in your life today. I don't know what you're struggling with. I don't know what 2023 holds for you, but I want you to remember this, Jesus. Jesus is great. Jesus is the son of God. Jesus is the king, and he will reign forever and ever. You know, I just got off the phone with somebody, and we were talking and they said, you know, God is good, not just some of the time, all of the time. They've been going through a difficult time, but God has proven himself to be there and be their, their strength and their help and their guide. And my friends, that is exactly what Jesus is for us. So as we go into this new year, I just want you to remember Jesus. He is great. Lord Christ, thank you for being great, for being the son of God that you are, for being the king of kings. Lord, I just pray that we could follow you this new year, that Lord, we could help expand your kingdom, that Lord, every day we would follow you and we would bow before you. Lord Jesus, you are great and we love you. And it's in your name we pray these things. Amen. Hope that encourages you this week and that you will keep your eyes on Jesus. God bless.